Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here. Welcome back to the continuation of our 100% walkthrough level by level in Crash Bandicoot 4. This is the level Booty Calls, one of the hardest, if not the hardest level so far for us based on the walkthrough. It does get even harder than this. Now we'll have to get all of the gems here and the perfect relic. To do that, we'll need to grab all of the boxes as well as 80% of the Wumpa Fruit the hidden gem and we'll need to make sure we don't die even a single time this level is pretty long decently challenging and there are a decent amount of hidden boxes along the way as well as nitro boxes and we're gonna also have to make sure to watch out for a lot of new enemy types for the octopus with a ton of arms and the swords you're gonna have to bounce on their head and then for the kind of like pirate mice you just have to make sure to avoid them for the dragons with swords just spin them out of the way. Additionally, there will be a flashback tape right here, but it's not here because I already picked it up. You just have to make sure you didn't die before getting here for it to be there. Then you just walk through it to pick it up. Make sure you have 37 boxes before going on the little grind rail, and then just make sure you do this part perfectly. After the grind rail, you should have a total of 65. You'll also be introduced to this kind of crab enemy, and you'll need to just kind of lure him towards you, and as he turns around, just spin him from behind to get rid of him. During this section, this is going to probably happen a couple times during the game, but this is the first time we're kind of introduced to this. But there is a little bit of a split path, and we will need to do both sides of the path, because there are boxes on both sides. So I'm going to go to the left first, go about halfway through, and then return back to the beginning and then we're gonna go through on the right hand side and grab all the boxes along the right hand side before moving on again I will flash the amount of boxes I have before any relevant checkpoints but I think you need hundred and three before going to the bonus stage For the bonus levels, there's a couple of different ways to do this one. I decided to partake in it in this method, but you can kind of do it in whichever way you feel most comfortable. There is a golden wumpa fruit there for worth 25 that I will be avoiding on purpose because I didn't want to die as I was filming. But you can grab it pretty easily, and if you do die during a bonus area, you don't actually lose your life. You get to retry, so it's worth trying to get all of the fruit out of this if you can. Make sure to grab all 22 before leaving the area. You will have to go to the end to destroy the nitro boxes and kind of work your way back through the level. We are slowly approaching the end of this level, but keep in mind we still have to grab our uh, hidden gem, which is actually located right here by taking this platform. Also, try to carry as many masks as you can just in case you do get hit. It is really advantageous to be able to, you know, take a hit without actually dying right away. So, having a mask when possible is very, very useful. 
For this section coming up, you'll notice a couple of white boxes. We've done this mechanic a few times. You'll need to uh, spin attack the metal box with the exclamation point, and this will make those boxes spawn. We'll need to backtrack to grab them. We'll need to do all the kind of alternate paths as well. For this weird jump, I like to just crouch or slide and then double jump diagonally across instead of trying to actually hit the moving platforms. Now, once you reach the gate in front of us, you should be at 141 for crates. And then it's just a couple more jumps and a couple more bounces on the way to the end. And you should be good to go. Assuming you have a decent amount of Wumpa Fruit. Assuming you also got that hidden gem, which I showed. And assuming you have all the boxes and did not die, you will grab the at that perfect relic. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you soon. Peace.